Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotouch.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at making a really cool pixelated edge effect in Photoshop. This is what the effect looks like and this is what it looks like when it's applied to a background. This is really what it's meant for. As you can see we have a white center, um, a slight drop shadow on both sides with the pixelated effect on both sides. Um, so that looks really cool and it could be used for YouTube backgrounds, um, pretty much anything you want really, Twitter, anything you want. So let's get started on creating this effect. We're going to go to File New and we're going to make a new image with a width of 500 pixels and a height of 1000 pixels and press OK. And then the first thing I'm going to do is unlock the background layer. So double click on the layer to unlock and then I'm going to zoom in a little over here. Okay, we want to select the rectangular marquee tool and pretty much just select a little rectangle, something like that. And then we're going to make a new layer. So Command Shift N if you're on a Mac or Control Shift N if you're on Windows. New layer. And we're going to fill this in. Let's start with a black color. We're going to choose the paint bucket tool and fill this in with black. And then Command D or Control D to deselect. And we're going to get started by clicking on Filter distort and we're going to add a wave. We want the number of generators to be 2, the wavelength to go from a minimum of 10 to a maximum of 50, and the amplitude to go from 1 to 25, and the type we want to be sine. And press OK. And we're going to get something like this. Next let's click on filter, distort again, and click on ripple. We want the amount to be as high as it could go, 999%. Press OK. And now we have something like this. Next, filter, pixelate, mosaic. We want the cell size to be about eight or nine squares and press OK. And now we're getting a little similar, um, a little closer to the effect. And now we want to click on this little half black, half white circle to add a new adjustment layer. And we want this adjustment layer to be curves. For the curves, we kind of just want to randomize this, uh, make it just go uh, one side go up, another side go down. Um, until you get a desired effect, which is something like this. That's the effect you want to go for. And that looks good. And then we're going to click on that same circle and add levels. Now, for these levels, we want to bring out all of the black, um, take away all of the white, and take away all of the gray. So we're going to push this uh, black uh, lever on the left um, to the right. And then this gray, we're going to push to the left. This white we're going to push to the left and just play around with it to see what you could get. And that looks good. As you can see now we have mainly only black um, and no gray, just black and white. So that's looking good. And then the last thing we want to do is select the original layer, not any of the adjustments layer. Select the original layer, click on select color range. You want to click on the black, click on or Click on the black color and then select the fuzziness all the way to 200 and press OK. And this is going to select um, the black part of this layer. And that's the part that we want. So we're going to make a new layer, Command Shift N or Control Shift N if you're on Windows. And then we're going to select our desired color, which in this case is a light blue color with a hex code of 6AA6FF. And we're going to select the paint bucket tool and just fill that in. Command D to deselect. And then we could just delete the rest of these layers because we just need this one layer. And that's it. We're done with that effect. Now we could fill in um, the background with this dark blue color with a hex code of 004C87. So we're going to go ahead and fill that in. And now we have the desired effect. And now we could add it to a YouTube background, a Twitter background, um, pretty much do whatever your heart desires with it. That's it for this video tutorial. Hope you guys learned something today. I will have the PSD to this background in the video description below just in case you guys want to use it. And that's it. Till next time, I will see you guys later.